Hello everybody, welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Wasteland 3. We need to go and check in with Papa Buchanan. He might be really pissed at us because we killed his son. Not only did we break into his prison and let one of his uh, prisoners go while killing his mercenaries, which pissed him off a little bit, but now we've also murdered his psychotic son, which he explicitly told us not to do. So, he warned us the last time that we pissed him off that uh, we only had one more chance. That means that maybe when we check in with him, he might immediately try and kill us. If that's the case, then we may just have to not check in with him. I don't know, but we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. The last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon. After that, I think we need to go to the bazaar as well. Um, do the Tarjan tokens. So we'll probably do that um, soon. The question is, is do we check in with Angela Death first? Nah, I think we'll go to the bazaar first and then we'll go to Angela Death. It's the last time anyone saw the Patriarch. Okay. I don't think this is going to go well. I think we got some level ups. Yes, we did. We need a lot of different things with you. Killing an enemy, killing an enemy with an automatic weapon gives plus three AP once per turn. Yeah. Why wouldn't I want that? I've been sitting on that one for a while. Uh, I don't like my animal companions to be that low. So I don't know about that one. You know what? We should probably try that out on him. Alright, we haven't found a small arms book and I've kind of been waiting a while. I think I might just save up six points and just spend it at this point. Welcome, Rangers. Yeah, we'll see if I'm welcome. I'm not so sure at the moment. We should probably do a hard save. Before we talk to him.
kill the sun. Deal with it. No sudden moves, understand? It was also... You know what? Before we talk to him, if unless it forces us to... Here. There's something here. We're going to give ourselves administrator access. You enter the request and after a few seconds the computer sends out a short range broadcast. Automated duty roster change. New assignments are as follows. Guard zero four two station. What's the other one then? Turret maintenance to the lobby front desk. Uh sure. Okay, I don't know what that one was, but I think we can get in here now. Nobody notice? Nobody notice? Ugh! How could anyone live here? Petting Zoo 2073? A mounted head. Oh! Oh, this is Vic's room. Ah, I wonder what that is. You know, that white powder on his table. A cuddly teddy bear with a lot of stab wounds. Big guns. Yes. Okay, he has a lot of knives, that makes sense. Those probably are, yeah, well below where we would want them to be. Now, where's your big guns at? Did we finish your big guns? No. We're close, though. If we get you one more, we can use that book. Nifty. Oh, toaster repair eight. If we're one away from that, I can equip a thing. Yes. We have a utility for this. Boom. Another action figure. SB Saul Buchanan. Huh. Stretched skin? Oh no. I don't want to look in that freezer. A freezer chest and a fuel can. Tools of every psychopath's trade. Thank you for not looking in there. I don't want to know. <laughs> Must be Val's room. Even a century ago, these computers were antiques. Hidden under the mattress are some old issue of Robot Love magazine, and a full-size poster of Ronald Reagan. Fitting. The screen is too small and dim to read. More servers than you can shake a memory stick at. Looks like a password protected screensaver. Terminal is not turned on. Terminal is unresponsive. Lines of text scroll across the screen. Force quit out of the sequence. Program ends and a source code is revealed. Valor was attempting to brute force decrypt something, but his Rube Goldberg-esque method would take 300 years to finish. 
Okay. Nerd stuff 8. Fix Valor's sad, inefficient little algorithm. It doesn't take long to clean things up. The computer restarts with your improved algorithm, and in less than a second, it has the answer. An article discussing a chemical formula is revealed. C15H15NO2S. It's not clear why Valor needed it, but you get the feeling it was related to his work with the Gippers. I wonder if I can use this with the chemical thing over at Vix, where the, the miracle, miracle lady is at, or whatever she was called. The, the gift. The gift is what they called her. But why would he have the chemical for Vix? Hmm. I'm going to write this down. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, maybe it's something we can't even do now, because maybe it had something to do with something we could do over where the Gippers were at, but, yeah. Interesting. Okay, that didn't change anything with any of these. All the strategist classics, Sun Tzu's Art of War, Ma Machiavelli's The Prince, Von Clausewitz's On War, Musashi's Book of Five Rings. Okay, Liberty's Desk. Detailed maps of Colorado litter the desk, with towns, populations, and defenses clearly marked. Yeah, she wants to attack the place. One paper piques your interest, it's filled with numbers in neat, orderly rows. All but one of the rows are crossed out. The numbers in that row are... Let's write this down too. Negative 47 plus 0, 4 minus 32. No idea what these are about, but they might be important. Oh, decode the numbers. Looks like Liberty knew that she might have to leave in a hurry. These are coordinates of secret caches filled with ammo, weapons, money, and other supplies. Looks like she grabbed most of them on her way out. There's only one left. A fancy vase in the dining room west of the Patriarch's throne. Oh. Okay. The Art of War. Liberty seems to have a wide range of interests. From marksmanship to linguistics to biology, all the books are well-worn and many have notes scribbled throughout. Old Stars and Stripes is the only thing in this room that's not perfectly clean. Not cleaned. exactly keeping her plans as Was it an object wish. of veneration or contempt? A power gauntlet. It's a brawling weapon. Interesting. Armor mod. Cool. Okay, this was definitely worth our time. Okay, a vase. One of these? Imagine the jolly times around this table. Guardian semi auto pistol. Armor mod, armor plus two, healing bonus plus 50. We missed this the last time we were in here. Okay. Moment of truth, huh?
sewn. I didn't even notice I misspelled that. <laughs> oh well. That's what happens when you type fast. I keep on hearing that whenever I come over here. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Yes. We're ready to make a report. Tell me. We've dealt with your son. Dealt with? How? He's super dead. Dead? Rangers, I told you to bring him home alive. If I'd wanted him dead, I would have done it myself. Well, we did what we did. How did he die? He had it coming. You didn't see what he did to those people in Aspen. I don't care if he flayed every one of the place and danced around in their skins. Your job was to bring him home. Oh, I cannot wait to murder you. I hired the Desert Rangers because you destroyed the base Cochise AI. Because you brought down Finster. Because you do the impossible everywhere you go. But saving my son, one single half-idiot boy, was too hard. Keeping him alive was beyond your legendary capabilities. Oh no, we had him dead to rights. We could have easily brought him in alive. We made the choice, bro. If I had any other option, I would send you back to Arizona in pieces. Unfortunately... The job must still be done, and there is no one else to do it. But if you harm any more of my children, there will be hell to pay, Rangers. Understand me? Hell. Oh, they're gonna die. They're gonna die. Now, Nothing anything you can do else to stop before me. I throw you out? Nah. Oathbreakers. Fuck you and your kids, dude. <laughs> Alright, time to uh, roll through several loading screens to get out of Colorado Springs. Run, my little minions. Run. Okay, next order of business, we are heading to um, the bazaar. We'll do our Tarjan tokens. And then Angela Death. I feel like we're actually kind of getting close to the end of the game now. There's still a lot of map to explore though. Which also could mean lots of uh, side missions that we could still do. But I think that we're getting close. Considering we've dealt with two of the three children already.
Maybe I'll join the marshals. Nah, this guy doesn't have anything we want to buy. I think we checked recently, too. Let's just get... Get on going. Okay, the game wanted to crash there for a second, but I think we're okay? Maybe? Yep, still going, okay. So, I think... Every time I've crashed on the load screen, it's been because I've been muting my microphone on OBS using a hotkey. And it seems to not like that at all. Speaking of not liking things, I did Before not like that. Foco can carry out his evil designs on Winifred. Doug Badman, the owner of the Trigger Whiskey Saloon, comes looking for Tornado Lou. Foco, Foco! What have you done? What have you done? You... You killed Tornado Lou! She got what she deserved, and so do you, if you get in my way! You'll pay for this! Maybe we'll finish exploring the map down here, too, while we're in this area. Guns, guns, sanctified with blood. Go ahead, blood. take a picture. It'll last longer. Have you seen fuck loose yet? <laughs> Can we be honest here? Enough? This right here is the man of your dreams. I just want you to know what you see right okay. here is yours for the taking. Now, I believe this has chance of giving us like permanent perks. These Tarjan tokens. I don't know what these perks do, so I'm not really sure who I want to try. Like, is this one? I think per, I think that... No, I don't remember where we got Investigative Eye. Somebody got one, though, I think, from Tarjan. Yeah, it was this. Cold Resistance and Penetration. I don't know what other ones people can get, so I'm not really sure who I should try and do this with. Okay, let's save. Get on up there, York. Let's see if we can get you something. Cream cheese wontons. Perk learned fortune cookie. Luck? Some kind of luck thing? Con plus 15. Honestly, that's fine for him. Um, he's already the tank. He doesn't necessarily need more, but if he gets a little bit more, I'm not mad. <laughs> Maybe let's try something for Kai? I don't actually know how many tokens I have. I think I might have one more, though. Saved again.
What? Did that one do nothing? Okay, we'll quick load and we'll try that again. It seemed like that one did nothing. Come on, you can do it. Remember everybody, this thing's running on an SSD. <laughs> What does that mean? Barger for a certain amount of seconds? No. No, I want an ability. Yeah, I want an ability. Are you kidding? I don't want some... So we got that twice in a row. Is it set? Or... Maybe it's set for Kai? To do that, maybe because of his, he has the highest barter or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know how the Tarjan tokens work. What I do know is that I don't want some limited perk. I want a. I want a one that's gonna last. One that sticks around, you know. Okay, maybe let's try with vernacular instead of Kai. <clears throat> First off, we do have another Tarjan token, right? Where would the damn thing show up? Okay, looks like we only have one. So we do have one more. And let's try it with uh, Vernac this time. Be as wise as Solomon and you'll have half a baby to show for it. Damn it. Okay. Precognition. Haste makes Jack a dull boy. Never to roll down the hill. That's really good for her. When she takes 33% more damage, just having her dodge more? Like, yeah, she should not be getting hit. That's the idea. That's perfect. Alright, I'm happy. All right, I'm happy. I'm glad I reloaded, even though it took forever. <laughs> now, we got a guidebook to play this game. The Bard's Tale 4. We found a book that was a guide for this game. Play the game using the Tips and Trips book. Trick. <laughs> Tips and Tricks book. Referring to the strategy guide, you find hidden passages and secret solutions. Defeat insurmountable enemies and drink copious amounts of ale. Finally, you defeat the final boss, and the game displays a celebratory message. Thank you for playing The Bard's Tale 4, Borrows Deep. Your exclusive reward will soon be delivered? Nicely done, Rangers! I never got all the way through that one! Delivered where? To base? Oh, wasn't there something with this, too? Yeah! This is a terrible idea. Fix the robot. For a moment, the machine comes to a mockery, mockery of staggering life. Hissing, rusted pistons creaking with it, within its carapace. Then it sags back on its pedestal, clearly beyond salvaging. However, it did shift slightly, allowing you a closer look at its parts. Hmm. Learn what you can from its carapace. An inscription on the back of the robot reveals its serial number and place of origin. The slicer dicer came all the way from Arizona. You also find some words scratched into robot rope into the robot's chassis, possibly by one of its own blades. Cochise is dead. I am free. That's interesting. Hmm. Inspect the machine's legs. 
The limbs are a madness of gunshot wounds and blunt trauma. Evidence, perhaps, of encounters with raiders and whatever else haunts the wastelands. Kick the robot. The machine scissors forward at the blow, sudden and savage, shoulders rolling. Somewhere in the circuit circuitry of its brain, it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Oh, I'm sorry I kicked you. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Okay. I love those boots. Where'd you get them? These old things? I got them for a steal. These old things. I love those boots. Oh, shit. I don't think Guns these shops get new items, but may again, as well check. Strangers. Certainly. Auto shotgun. No, I think we're in the hundreds with our shotgun. Yeah. These, these are low level. Okay. But, I can sell junk to you for... 20% extra barter, so may as well, right? While we're here. Oh, guns sanctified with blood. Okay. Blood Angela sanctified death. by guns. You are next. It would be smart of them to when you're in safe zones, areas that won't have enemies, they should allow you on these load screens to load into any other safe zone in the area, including going back to the world map. That would save us from having to do this load screen, which is then just going to walk down to our car and then enter another loading screen. Small thing, but it would, it would make a difference especially if they can't get these load times to improve at all. I know that they're planning another update where that will improve. By the time this video is out, there probably will be maybe multiple updates. I'm way ahead in recording right now, like several weeks. <laughs> That's how much I've been playing this game. I'm really enjoying it, honestly. So I think maybe we'll clear some of the map down here on the bottom uh, right side of the map and then go to Hoon Farm and meet up with Angela. sitting in the courtyard. <laughs> All right, that's going to be for beating that game, I guess. Fun stuff. Okay, so yeah. This area here. We're eventually going there, though. Oh, that's a dead end. Got to go around. Gotta save. As you step out to investigate, a charged round blows her head off. Scar collectors. Escape. handle this radiation right now, can we? A hunchman tosses junk into the back of an old pickup. Some robots help him. They beep as you approach and he looks up. His face is deformed. His hands have two thumbs each. You famous. Keep us your name on wind. Ranger Rose. One trade? 
What kind of name is Chibis? You sick son of God. What else name I have? Jesus, son of God. Oh my gosh. Uh, you can heal people? Will you heal us, Chibis? We want to believe. Wait. Chibis speak to all righty. He stares directly into the sun, unblinking. At last, he looks at you again. Gob say you smash good. Need strength. Take it. Bizarrely, you feel refreshed. Show us what you have, Chibis. This, my stuff. You know what, Chibis? You're all right. <gasps> this is what I was looking for. Stuff that increases range. Critical damage 0.2x. Dude, why do you have all this good shit? Holy crap. Um. Okay, that's an assault rifle. Some, oh. I'm on the wrong person. It is better. Wait, what? Oh, because damage times 10. Ripper. So it, it'll eat up ammo quicker. Oh, I don't even have your right thing equipped right now. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. 35 to 45 times 4. Yeah, this is better. Can I go straight to here? Oh, that would be so nice. Really? Really, printer? You fucking kidding me? What the hell? <laughs> SOCOM assault rifle. Okay, that one is not better. Man cannon? It shoots spikes. Sixteen thirty eight. Expensive. Have to try it. Um, I have no choice. No choice at all. Dude, this guy has the goods. I'm gonna spend all my money here. That's the hammer we already have. But really, you're that assault rifle. Like, the one we've got's better? By quite a bit, honestly. Huh. Bladed weapon. Okay, that's a pretty big upgrade, honestly. Big resistances on that. Max damage and penetration. I don't care if this radiation is murdering me. <laughs> This guy is the best shop we have found. Hands down. Plus 15 crit chance. Okay, that's range for a shotgun. I like that. Okay, that might be it. 67 to 99 times 3. Oh my god. That is way better.
We spent like all of our money here on this guy. And I don't even feel bad about it. Okay, I suppose that's all for now. Howdy, Rangers. I got some trouble over here at my ranch. A bunch of freak shows rolled up. Seem to want something. So I'd be much obliged if you came by. Uh, where? Okay, are we out of the bad stuff. Now, did we... radiation stuff? Some of them give us good things. Evasion plus five. Quick slots plus one. Some mutations are good. Like, have I seen a mutation that's been bad? I don't think so. Alright, let's freaking save after that haul of really good equipment. Um, okay. Who all got new stuff? I don't think you got new stuff, right? You got a new sniper rifle, right? You didn't get anything new. You got a new weapon. You got two new weapons, I believe. We gotta give this a shot. The one that shoots spikes. And... Our new shotgun. And you... Yeah, we did find a... Yep, yep, right here. Fantastic. Okay. I want to try this before I give her, like, range stuff and things like that. Also, can we even use that right now? The crit one, hit chance. This is the range. No, that's crit damage. That's the range. Six meters. That seems like a lot. Okay, we might wait until we use these weapons to make sure we actually like them. And then we'll start modifying them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Okay, the bison ranch is up there. Okay, that hurts you pretty damn quickly. Oh, quick. We need to find armor that helps us out a little bit more. In this area in particular. Prosperous Ranch, where the Knox family have raised bison for food and trade for generations. Is this the bison rancher that we saved, or a different one? Not 100% sure. I don't remember his name. The Rage Ram is highly territorial and will attack trespass trespassers on sight. I don't think we've seen one of those.
Rangers. Look at this guy. I like him already. Rangers, you came! We're in dire straits here. Those twisted psychopaths want us all dead. You gotta help us. Uh, what's going on exactly? Them crazies were demanding our bison to turn him into weapons of war. Sick fucks wanted to graft machine parts onto him or something. Oh, it's gonna be scars. When they started machining them up, the bison fought back. They don't like to be messed with, and they're damn fierce. Masters had their hands full for sure. Where are these psychopaths? They done camped out at the side door on the right. Won't keep them out long. It's our breeding pen, and most of our bison are in there. They must have noticed us trying to reinforce it and decided it was the best way in. Enough talking, let's get them now. I'll show you the way, but I am done as soon as we see them. They're crazy. Follow me. The sick bastards are up there. I'll just hang on back while you take care of things. Wouldn't want to get in the way. These bison are huge. Okay. Um, everybody's, everybody's hurting. I think you at least will heal. We'll maybe hope for the best with the rest of us. Bison, uh, the bison's head is covered in numerous surgical incisions. Bits of metal protrude from many of the cuts. Cool. Kick to the bottom half of the dozer blade is layer upon layer of dried bison dung. Fun. Gave us a little hidden perception check to get around it, looks like. Whew, got it just in time. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, shit. Hoping for another crit. Yes. Oh. Okay, hold on. Now we we can we can get that shot. That shotgun is so good. It's so good. Oh, 
This is the upgrade we've been waiting for, ladies and gents. Our team just got real, real good. Oh, I didn't even see this guy back here. Yeah, you'll be able to get one more hit in. Hoping he just goes after this. Makes more sense to go after him, doesn't it? But like, you know, one can hope. Man, I love my team. They're good. Nice crit. Oh. Oh shit. Brilliant. What? There we go. Plasma hammer? Um, girl, were you gonna heal him like I asked you to? Thank you. Thanks, dude. Damn. Sneak attack damage? Oh my gosh. Your sneak attack is just getting better and better, Vernak. Better. Oh no, I'm digging up the grave. Barbecue pit master volume five, the whole pig and nothing but the pig. A cookbook focused on the history of barbecuing and techniques for roasting a whole pig. Larry's head. Nothing else? Uh oh, do we got cannibals here? Uh oh. Now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. Okay. I mean, this is a good robot vehicles option for a blunt. A blunt weapon, not a blunt. You take my meaning. <laughs> Interesting, though. That's one we might switch in. And since there's no reload involved, there's really no issue switching it in either. were looking for these two. They may have been cannibals themselves, which would explain the head. What was the other guy's name? Because was he the third one? Because I remember it was like Daryl and Daryl and somebody else. They may be involved with cannibalism. Level 8 toaster in there, huh? Um, let's go back around. Should talk to him. Rangers, Rangers, 
What do you want? This has nothing to do with you. Your harassment of a farming community warranted our attention. Piss off, Rangers! You have no say in this matter. We will take what is ours. <laughs> Animal whisper, huh? I wonder if it could make we could make the animals in there charge out and hurt them or something. All right, we're gonna attack. Then you will die with us. Crit. That's what I'm talking about. Crit. Alright, it was a good attack, though. <laughs> Wrong weapon. That's okay, though. Okay, whatever that guy's got might be incredibly dangerous. I'm a little worried about it. That was a great turn. That was just a really good first turn. <laughs> I also have to remember, these guys aren't just melee. I need to watch out for that bleeding after this fight. Woo! Leave my little growler cub be, you monster. What a jerk. Good kill. Oh! Even my companions are wrecking. I love it. So many crits, so many crits. Billy Jean, you gonna finish it? Oh, you're gonna ignore that guy. Okay, you know, you do you. Kai's gonna die because of bleeding. That's the one I want to hit. I 
I'll make that happen. Because I think this destroys cover. Oh, no. The reload's going to screw me, isn't it? No, oh, it's only 2 AP. Okay. Yours doesn't destroy cover, I think it's yours that destroys cover. You don't have one, but that's okay. Damn, we can't get around because they blocked the path. Freaking jerks. Oh, you got a lucky something. Brilliant. I'm close, but you're all dead. Damn nice job you done there, Rangers. And since you taking care of us, seems only fitting we take care of you. We could send some meat over to your HQ every so often. Sound good? Um That makes me really nervous. Because I know a couple of people here are involved with cannibalism. Interesting. Okay, thank you. Yo, <laughs> Don't really have a choice. You! Any chance you can clear some vermin off the ranch before they go after one of our bison? Oh no, my bear's dying! Sure thing! Thanks, Ranger. Shut up! I'll leave you to it. My bear is dying. Tend to the bison. Poor girls need some calming down. You come find me when those vermin are dealt with. Okay. <laughs> the bear will live. Um, where are you, bro? Because we already killed the vermin. Holy moly, you rangers work. Yeah, fast. we do. <laughs> Thank you for clearing out those vermin. We'll be happy to send you the finest of our bison meat to your headquarters. Thank you. All right, and with that, we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.